All right, so I don't have a user ID, but I do have email. So I'm gonna use that's my user ID. So I'm gonna put that email. And I don't have a username, but I do have first name. So I'm gonna use first name as my username. So I'm gonna call this first name. All right, now these names should match the exact same names as in your registration case site data model. So I'm gonna go to my data model, register data model. So we have email. And it's spot like that. First name is spot like that. So let's go to the square operator. Email. And first name. Alright, done. Save. Alright, once you've done that, now you want to come back into your steps. You want to define the parameters username as param dot first name. And you want to define the parameters user ID as param dot email. All right, after you've set that, you also want to go into your property set here and you want to set the user ID to your user ID. So param.email and save. All right, next thing you want to do once you've done that is you want to go to method seven and you want to change this one to set property or property, property set. So once you've done that, you want to create a new property called flag. Get either create in here or go into your data model and create flag. So I'm going to just call it create here. Call flag. Create and open. And I'm going to save it as it is. After you've created your flag property, you also want to set it in data transform for PY default. Here set dot flag equal to zero and save all right dot flag i want to set that to one done all right the last thing you gotta do once you've done that is just skip this step and to do that you just use two backslashes we don't need to see the set as it will just show that there's, there's no error if no error calls. So we just skip it. Save. Now go into your registration case type and now we'll do the configurations in the workflow.